Hello everybody, I'm back. The topic of this video is the first year of no contact and uh, what you may go through, the pros and the cons of going no contact and why it's very beneficial to your health in the long term. So during the first year of no contact, you will go through strong emotions of guilt. Uh, you might feel as if you're the problem. You might find yourself questioning yourself over and over and over if you're the problem. Uh, and that's completely normal. Um, and that is the sign that you're not the problem. And you're definitely not a narcissist. Because narcissists don't even consider the fact that they could be the problem. Whereas normal human beings always have that lingering question. What question? Of, of what if it's me? Um, and and go, you know, going through that is quite normal. Uh, it's to be expected. Um, so don't feel shamed for feeling that way. Um, you might feel a bit angry, guilty. Uh, you might feel as if you've let our family or your romantic partner that you've gone no contact with, you might feel as if you've let them down. It's completely understandable. The next thing to watch out for in the first year of no contact is hoovering from the narcissist. And it's inevitable. The narcissist needs his, his or her supply in order to function. The narcissist needs chaos in order to function. So in order to function, <laughs> they need to find a way to get that supply back. What better way for them to get that supply than hoovering? Hoovering is it, it's derived from a vacuum cleaner. The whole concept of hoovering is, is sucking you back in into the web of abuse, lies, and manipulation. Um, it's very important that you lock off phone numbers, um, block any avenues the nurses may have, um, any paths the nurses may have to you. Uh, because he or she will definitely try to suck you back in. Expect threats. Expect them to claim that they got in car accidents like my dad did. Expect that. But do not respond to them. Please do not respond to them. Um, responding to a narcissist during no contact will... Um, it will be destructive, it will, you will pay the price for it because they are seeking to make you pay for going no contact and they will try to, see, you know, make it very difficult for you to do so in the future. So it's important to stay no contact no matter what, do not respond to them at all costs. Next thing you may face while, you know, after going no contact with your narcissist is a smear campaign. The smear campaign um, can be very destructive, but it's inevitable given the fact that the nurses may be asked, how is X doing? How is Y doing? How is he doing? <laughs> how is he or she doing? People are going to ask, why haven't you been speaking to the nurses? And the narcissist will have to come up with some sort of lie to ensure that he or she does not look bad. Because remember, the narcissist is doing everything to keep that image, that public image, squeaky clean. Okay, so the smear campaign is inevitable. Today does mark the one-year mark um, 
since you know it, it does mark one year since I uh, established no contact with my dad. Um, but one year later, I can tell you guys that I've I've grown so much and I've gained so much strength. And it's important not to see yourself as a victim, but more of a survivor. Um, because of the fact that your power may be way have been kept from you initially, but you found a way to take your power back. And that's what makes this whole experience. And then going no contact and establishing no contact. It's what makes it um, very rewarding. As you may know, um, last Thursday was Narcissist, World Narcissistic Abuse Awareness Day. And um, a lot of you on Instagram put up a lot of posts um, spreading the awareness. And the more we spread this awareness about narcissistic abuse, uh, the better. Because most people mainstream society does not understand this doesn't understand this phenomenon doesn't understand the terminology involved in this and they don't understand what narc abuse victims go through so spreading the awareness is so important um but going no contact is the answer especially if you are able to do so During the first year of no contact, um, I, I need to add this, you might, you will become healthier to the point where you might need to cut contact with additional people um, in order to, to continue getting healthier and healthier. So. Um, it's not abnormal to, to go no contact with the main abuser in your life, but then eventually more individuals. If you have been no contact with your narc for more than a year, um, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and, and try to help somebody that is in the early stages of no contact or still contemplating going no contact um, I feel like that would be very beneficial to somebody um, perhaps going through those strong emotions um, thank you um, but uh, leave your experiences in the comment section that should help a lot of people